right now. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho. Ryan Field with sports. And Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. This is about money. Another day of protest and controversy over congestion pricing. The board making the decision on how much drivers will pay and who gets a break from the fees. Governor Murphy pushing for a break like that for drivers from New Jersey. And a search for a missing nine-year-old boy with autism in Brooklyn comes to a tragic end. Heartbroken parents talk about how he slipped away from them during a shopping trip. Good evening at 6 o'clock. I'm Sandra Bookman in tonight for Liz. And I'm Bill Riddle. We'll have more on those stories in just a moment. But first, we're following some breaking news in Brooklyn. A police involved shooting this afternoon in East Flatbush. A teenager shot by NYPD officers expected to survive. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan is live at the scene. Jim? Sandra, this all happened right over there, East 95th Street, just off of Clarkson Avenue. It was a crowded Clarkson Avenue this afternoon when police say... WNBA Best Aces tonight in Las Vegas. The NBA releasing its schedule today. The Knicks open the season October 25th at the Garden. Nationally televised game against the Celtics. Oh. The Nets and Cavs in Brooklyn that same night. And finally, today is Dalvin Cook's first full day as a Jet. After signing his one-year deal yesterday, he's not expected to practice with the team until next week as he continues to recover from off-season shoulder surgery. Say that five times fast. Why did Cook choose the Jets? Well, the four-time Pro Bowler says he wants to be part of something special. I think I've pretty much seen everything I needed to see. Uh, you know, it was good vibe with the coaches, the players, you know, everybody around the building. And, you know, obviously when you dig deep and look into the roster, I think all the pieces are put together. He should be back to practice sometime in the next few days. The birth of his child awaits him in Florida. Oh, <laughs> reporting from Hawaii, Maui tonight. We'll be back here for Outdoor News at 11 o'clock.